There we go. That's the wow, God. You know, there have been some <clears throat> great songs out there about you know the trains are coming. I can hear the train. I can yeah. hear the whistle blowing. Um, yeah, a little Johnny Cash. You hear that train are coming, <laughs> coming around the bend. <laughs> I ain't seen the sunshine till I don't know when, and I'm stuck in Folsom Prison. <laughs> Time keeps rolling. Hey, you know, I think I think everyone <laughs> everyone on the podcast today, <clears throat> excuse me, would agree that if the tennis thing doesn't work out for you, maybe there's a you know an opportunity for <laughs> at worst a backup singer. Yeah, at worst a roadie. <laughs> uh, well, you know our you know our good friend uh, Chris Morgan, uh, who I play a lot of doubles with. He was a roadie for the Jefferson Starship. Wow. And he was the roadie for the drum guy, this guy, Ansel, no, uh, a British drummer. Uh, I, I, the, the, the guy, he's a famous drummer, and right. I lost it anyway. He just said, he said that that guy just worked him over and just made life so miserable for Chris. And Chris would have to crawl out on stage sometimes during a performance where the guy would just go on and go, you're such a loser. Look, look, look at this high top or whatever, high hat or whatever it is. You know, Chris, I'm sorry, man. So, uh, guys, uh, we're actually going to talk about tennis today. Uh, we're, not ta- we're not talking about Jeff's next uh, career, which might be singing or roadie. Could be. Could be. Roadie. You know, got a lot, of, uh, <laughs> a lot of good things there, a lot of opportunities. But... Um, uh, we got another episode of Gold Ball Hunting Podcast uh, to, today for you. Thanks for hanging out. And uh, I guess I'll kind of go into the free coaching call at the end today. Let's do that. I want to get straight to the topic. Yep. So here's the, uh, here's the phrase for you, Jeff. Garbage in, garbage out. Go with it. Go. Run. Break up into some small study groups, discuss, and then we'll get back together. Okay. So. <laughs> or, or, right. or, if the, or if the roadie thing, maybe, maybe, maybe yeah. a comedian could be on the thing for yeah, you too. Maybe that's it. Uh, yeah, I'm a little punchy today. Anyway, um, garbage yeah, in, garbage, garbage, in out. garbage out. So you know, um, you know, tips, um, all those things. And here's here's the baseline in that. And 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 this for me, my thought process in that is this: is that the reason we, we tinker with things, the reason we tinker with things, but also then it's not just the tinkering, then it becomes the repetition. You know, we talked about, you know, uh, you know, pra- does practice make perfect or does per- perfect practice, practice makes permanent, right? And so while you're, you know, grooving a stroke or, you know, doing the repetition work, the rep work, um, are you understanding, are you getting a feel for, let's say, hitting, hitting the short dump semi-drop shot, but just the dump ball into the short court after you've pushed the player back? Let's just use that as the example, right? I push the player back, I'm going to hit my forehand, just a little cut, and drop it into the service box. Mid-service box, maybe a little shorter toward the net, but not like a full-blown excellent drop shot. Just that feel to dump a ball in there. And... And are you developing the feel, not just trying to execute this pattern? And so, you know, are you just standing there like dropping this thing in there off the ball machine and but it, without context? Um, and are you kind of hacking at it to make it land? Oh, I got it, you know, manually kind of like chopping at this ball and doing this thing because and so how does that relate to garbage in, garbage out? The idea is this, is that ideas are great. Um, tips can, can be helpful, but there's an associated feel that goes with the execution of whatever it is you're trying to execute. And so when I teach that, that specific pattern, drive the guy deep, then cut him short, I make sure the player I'm, I'm, I'm coaching is driving those two balls as if they're playing, meaning I need authority on the ball. I need the spin on the ball because this is the way it's going to happen in a match. You have to go heavy heavy and then go soft and so you need to be able to build that feel of of going heavy heavy and then soft because that's that's exactly what happens in a match and if you don't have that if you just have this little thing you're kind of like you think you got it now because you've done it you know once or twice 
it's never going to happen in a match unless you've actually done the repetition work to develop the feel. So, 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 so the, okay, go ahead and finish up. Um, so anyway, so that's my thought when I, that's what comes to mind when, you know, garbage in garbage out is, is, is the, there's an associated feel with every shot in tennis. And are you developing that feel? Because that's where the rubber meets the road in a right. match. That's right. Can you stay, like we talked about yesterday in yesterday's episode, grip tension? Well, guess what? If you're gripping that thing like your life depends on it, I'm not so sure you're going to be able to execute that soft ball very well. Well, you, I mean, if you're, you've got too yeah. much grip tension, you don't, you don't have much feel. Right. <laughs> so anyway, so that's what, that's what it kind of resonates in my head is, is that, that, you know, from that playing standpoint. Well, look, you just brought up something that, that was interesting where you're talking about re recreating a match play situation or recreating a, a play, which, which is just, it could be a couple of different feels, right? So you're, you're, you're right. trying to go, you're, you're trying to go heavy and that feels like for, for example, on, on the forehand rally ball drive, right? You're trying to go maybe two of those that has a certain feel. And then the next one you're, you're, you're feeling something different with a, with a right. shorter ball. So you can't, you can't necessarily just have the same feel on both shots. You've got to be able to, to really kind of right. shift from, from one to the other. You know, when I think of garbage in, garbage out, I think of, um, <clears throat> I think of the one word that, that, that you just abhor, which is the word tip uh, right. or quick fix, um, right. because it doesn't really relate to what you just described, which is... It, 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 the tip is just solo. It's one thing. It's just one specific thing. Right. It doesn't really have anything to do with match play. It, it, it right. doesn't. So you work on this thing, and then you get in the match, and all that's coming there's, out is garbage. Right. There's no context right. to, to what right. it is. Right. Exactly. Yeah. You know, I think the other thing, too, uh, as you were talking about, the mental part of of, of the game, which really what is kind of the foundation of, of, of gold ball hunting in terms of the podcast is trying to help you guys reduce your skill level range. That's really what we're trying to do here. So the right. day in and day out, you guys get out there and you, you, you can predict how you're going to play. You're going to play pretty close to the top of your skill level range again today. And mentally, if mentally for that to happen, it's one thing to work on what you just described, work on certain parts of your games, term, your game in terms of shot patterns. But the other thing is to, is to stop with the garbage in, the, the, the way that you self-talk, the things that you say to yourself, either right. after hitting a great shot, oh my God, I am, I am the man, and I want right. everyone to know about it. So you give it the big shriek and come on, you know? Or you miss the fat sitter, you chunk the big volley, and yeah. and you tell yourself something so negative. Right. So that's the garbage in, and the garbage out is is going to be is going is going to be the effect right. of that. So uh, if nothing else, work on the mental part, which is which is don't garbage in. Let's make sure it's just clean as a whistle going in. Whether you've just hit the greatest screaming running forehand up the line and the, the guys on the deck all jumped up and they started right. clapping, you know, don't go, go you know, with the come on. Don't, 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 don't draw a lot of attention right. to yourself on that. And, 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 and my, in my sense is that you will, you will sort of react to that great shot in a very positive way for the next upcoming points. Um, right. So... I hope that kind of made sense. Yeah, we'll find so. out. We'll, <laughs> we'll find out with the comments. Right, right. So, uh, all right. Well, listen, I, uh, I do want to mention before we sign off here, Jeff, about two things that we want to give uh, any new viewers or new listeners to the Gold Ball Hunting Podcast is that uh, uh, we, want to, we want to get you on our email list because we've got a couple, couple of cool opportunities for you. Uh, number one, Jeff and I recorded a, a video that is private. Uh, we did this a few months ago, and it is in reference to what I talked about earlier, which is helping you reduce your skill level range. One day, whew, man, you play the whole day is outstanding, and you've really played at the top of your skill level range, whatever that is today. I mean, whatever that is now. 
go home, honey. <laughs> I got to tell right. you. And here comes the garbage in part. Is <laughs> I, I got this game figured out. Right. And she goes, uh-huh. <clears throat> Is that right? Okay, great. Well, that's, that's cool. You go out tomorrow, and because you'd garbaged in with the, yeah, I got the game figured out, you go out tomorrow, and <laughs> boom. Yeah. You lay a big boom. fat goose egg down there, and, uh, and you don't have it figured out. So there's the difference. One day great, the next day not so great. There's your skill level range. Really what Jeff and I want to help you do is how do you bring the bottom of that range up to the top so every day you right. get to go out there and that video that we recorded months ago it is private but you can get access to it it's going to help you reduce your skill level range and that's really where you build confidence in the game of tennis jeff is is when you start to know that every day when you go out i'm going to play somewhere close somewhere close to my top right. and uh, once you do that that's when you can start to really move up uh skill level wise the other thing that we've got for you is an opportunity to get in a free private 10 minute coaching call with uh you me and jeff and uh it sounds 10 like 10 minutes and not a ton of time but if you'll bring that one thing in your game right now that's really uh <laughs> just can't quite figure out and you know that if you could figure it out you'd start getting maybe that skill level range up in here um, right. on a day-to-day -day basis the way to do that go over to goldballhunting.com drop in a first name not a first name, your first name. That would be garbage in if you put in someone else's first name. <laughs> and uh, and put in a real email address. Lots of, not lots of times, but sometimes sometimes someone goes in there and puts in you know a first name of the letter R, and then they put in you know R at R dot com as an email address, and it's all baloney. Don't do that. Yeah. That's garbage in. Uh, and you'll get access to our online calendar scheduler where you can cherry pick a date time that works best for you. So, Jeffrey, what do we want the fine folks to do right now? Uh, I have no idea. Uh, like us, yep. share us, please subscribe, let Rock. us know what you think down below. Beautiful, beautiful. Guys, get out there today. Help someone else. Not, don't give them the garbage, give them the good stuff. Help someone else yeah. have a spectacular day. Jeff, let's try to let's try to not garbage in tomorrow. Got it. Whatever that can't is. wait. <laughs>